Hello, remember me? Woohoo! It has been over a month since my last video. Um, and I feel kind of like I'm in the Catholic confessional. Forgive me, I have sinned against the pod world of videos on YouTube. Um, we've just been going camping. I've been doing a lot of reading, quite a bit of crafting. So what I'm going to do here with this video, which I hope to keep short, um, but I'm going to put together some slideshows of some places that we've been, and um, then I'll have a separate slideshow of projects that I've made. Um, uh, hats, mostly sock yarn blanket squares, um, and I made some skulls for Halloween ornament. Well, I'm going to decorate my cubicle um, with them, I hope. Um, the camping that we've done, I think the last time I talked with y'all, we were uh, had just gone to Rudd's Creek Campground in Virginia. Well, after that, we went to Myrtle Beach um, Travel Park, Myrtle Beach Travel Park in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we were there for the last week of September, and my birthday's in there, so we celebrated my birthday, and I had a whole week off work, and it doesn't get much better than that. Um, we had great weather, um, just, just a real fun time, so I do have some some pictures of that, and then um, our next camping was at the Stanton River State Park and Campground, and that's in Virginia. Um, that was pretty close by. It only took us about 45 minutes to get there, I think. Um, very nice campground, uh, kind of small, um, but I, I look forward to going back because that was, that was neat. Oh, I got my hair cut today and my hairdresser styled my hair, what's left of it, and it just doesn't look right and it feels terrible because it's got all the crunchy stuff on it. I'm not used to crunchy stuff on my hair. So anyway, so I already have a video that I have put together of our camping pictures, and that is of the beach and then of um, Stanton River State Park. And then I'm going to make another video with um, my crochet projects um, for my owl for the Harry Potter uh, Knit and Crochet House Cup. I am doing 12 hats and I have finished four. I've got one uh, that I have started but I haven't finished it yet. Um, I have had a ton of reading. I have a list of four, eight, nine books because I've been crafting so much and we've been traveling and I can listen to audiobooks while I'm doing uh, those things. So just to briefly run down the list of books, um, I read the uh, number 22 in the Stephanie Plum series by Janet Ivanovich. I think it was Tricky 22, and that was just a standard Stephanie Plum light reading. I enjoyed it. Um, I finished the trilogy by Craig Lancaster, um, and I may have already talked about this in a previous episode, but it's been so long. I know, bad me. Um, it's about an autistic man, Edward. The first one... Uh, the first book in the series is 600 Hours of Edward, and then it's Edward Adrift and Edward Unspooled. And those are, um, they're all in chronological order of this uh, autistic man trying to come to grips with the real world and how he is going to interact with the real world. Um if you remember, I had read Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King, and then I finished the trilogy of those three, uh, which was Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch. So um, 
they were very enjoyable. More of, um, there was no horror or blood and guts, because I'm not a real big fan of that kind of stuff. It was more police procedural almost. I truly enjoyed it, and truly. I love the way Stephen King lets things happen to ordinary people, because it's just, they're so ordinary, and you love them for their being so ordinary. Um, I truly, truly enjoyed it. Um, I also finished the Magician Trilogy by Charlie Holmberg, H-O-L-M-B-E-R-G, and that started with the Paper Magician, then it was the Glass Magician, and then it was the Master Magician. And I enjoyed those. They were, um, they were maybe even young adult books because they were very clean, um, nowhere near as good as the Harry Potter series, but they were okay. Another book I read was The Fracking King, and that was written by James Browning. That was um, a little like I got it for a dollar um, because I get these emails with audiobooks, um, book bub, and I get an email from them every day with a, a special um, audiobooks that you can get. Or no, these are Kindle books. I'm sorry. Yeah, I read that on my Kindle, and um, I thought it was going to be more about uh, fracking, which is when they dig under the Earth's layers for natural gr uh, gas, and then that leaves the potential for the crust on top, or the layers on top, to give way and and problems there. But it was kind of a coming of age story of a of a boy, and it was okay. It wasn't what I wanted it to be. And I think I probably skimmed quite a bit of it. And then I read the first in the series uh, about a lawyer in New Orleans. Uh, the lawyer's name is Tubby Dubonnet. And the first book in the series by Tony Dunbar was The Crooked Man. And that's just that was just a nice, easy reader. Um, I'm sorry for the moving there, sorry. Um, a nice little mystery. Uh, who done it? Why did they do it? And, and that kind of thing. I enjoyed that. Um, that was on the Kindle. And that's a series that I've gotten on special for like maybe 50 cents or a dollar for the books. So I get those. And then when I feel like I need a little you know, a little something to read to cleanse my palate after my uh, trilogies or Stephen King's or whatever. I can read a little light book like that and enjoy it and then be ready for something else. I have now embarked on another series. This uh, is the Harry Bosch, B-O-S-C-H, series. Uh, they've started a I think it's on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's a Netflix original or maybe it is, is an Amazon original program about or based on these books. The author is Michael Connolly. And the first one in the series was is Black Echo. And I haven't finished I haven't finished that yet. Uh, my favorite of all my reading has been The Fold by Peter Kleins. C-L-I-N-E-S. If you remember, I read, it was a very um, unusual book for me. The title was 14. And it had all kinds of these weird things going on in a building. And what's this about? And, oh, I just, I really, I didn't know what it was going to be when I first got started. But as I got into it, I just loved it. And um, The Fold by the same author, is tied in in a very minuscule way. And if if you uh, 
blink, you'll miss it. But it's tied to the book 14 as well. Um, but that is by far my favorite. And I can't wait for more in that series because I really hope that there are going to be more. And I keep looking over here because this is where my notes are. So, um, let's see. Anything really exciting besides all the books? I went with my mother-in-law and my niece or my husband's niece to see The Magnificent Seven because I am a huge fan of Vincent D'Onofrio. And it was just, ex I, I loved it. I loved it. It was a good old Western um, I just, I just truly, I had a ball, lots and lots of shooting and, and shoot them up and westerns, um, arrows, hatchets, knives, uh, you name it, you name it. It was just lots of violence, but I, I really enjoyed, uh, The Magnificent Seven. And so... After this little part, I'm going to play the videos. So one is going to be just camping pictures, and the other is going to be uh, projects that I've made. Okay? I'm back, and I plan to get back on my reg regular schedule. All right. Hold on. Here comes more good stuff, or at least that's the plan. Crazy dog. <laughs> 